Hey everyone, so it looks yesterday and the day before it was like in the 70s, beautiful out. Um, today it's kind of chilly, maybe uh, 50 um, and really cloudy. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so on my news app, I read what I'm assuming to be a false story. It was about a United States submarine that was off the coast of Japan, supposedly Russia claims that they gained those waters as their territory um, back in World War II, um, and that they made it sound like they had scared off a U.S. sub. <laughs> so, but, like I said, the United States has not confirmed it, and therefore I'm calling it false. Um, <laughs> anyway, have you all heard about the Elon Musk, um, rocket that broke apart and the other part of the rocket has still been out there and was supposed to hit our moon on March 4th? Well, now, um, the guy that wrote that story because at the time they couldn't figure out any other thing that could possibly have been but now all of a sudden they found some kind of rocket from China in 2014 and of course you know let's blame everything on China and Russia right and now all of a sudden you know he's not saying it is but it seems to me like they are now trying to blame China so if our moon blows up, <laughs> it's going to be China's fault um, instead of Elon Musk, who we know is um, doing some off-the-wall stuff. So um, these billionaires, they want to keep messing with stuff, um, science and all that, and that's what's created these problems. Um, that's what's created global warming. It's not what people are doing. It's not vehicles. That's a bunch of malarkey. It's got to do with these idiots in their science experiments, playing with our weather, playing with our skies, playing with other planets. I mean, now, I don't know, but if, if a rocket hits our moon at a fast speed, um, our moon controls our tides. Um, it says the world's supposed to end by fire now. I don't know if the war will break out prior to this rocket on March 4th hitting the moon. But what if something happens and our moon doesn't control our tides? I mean, are we going to end up blooded? <laughs> I mean, because if it doesn't control our high tide, well, that can mean devastation for a lot of places. could be underwater, California, Florida. Me, all the way up the east, west, coast, and all the way around. Um, this, this is just, I, I don't know, y'all. I guess I'll just watch and wait and see for March 4th. But, uh, yeah, so, for a couple of days, I, well, for a while, I hadn't been feeling good. Um, I had a sore throat. Uh, mostly at night, I was having, like, um, a hard time catching my breath. I actually did have to use my inhaler um, one of those nights. And, like, hurting all across my shoulders and my back. and um, So I don't know if it's stress and anxiety from all kinds of stuff happening or what. But um, I don't believe that it's COVID at all. Because um, if it was, I would have probably been much sicker. So, I'm sure it wasn't that, even though, you know, like I said, it, about a couple of weeks. And, you know, a few times in the past, say, three years, I've had some signs of COVID, but never got really sick sick. They are saying that some people's just more immune to it, and hopefully that's the case. You know, I don't know, but hopefully that is the case with me. Um... Because, as everyone knows, none of my family is vaccinated. And none of us, thank God, praise the Lord, 
for protecting my family that we have not gotten sick. None of us has gotten sick, and we have been subject to it. Um, and they are using young, healthy people as test subjects now. They are putting COVID in them and finding results that a lot of people are immune to it. And I guess they're trying to figure out why, so that maybe they could use some of that, you know, for better medicines later down the road. Um, you know. But anyway, I've been spending a lot of time reading stuff and um the war's not looking too good. Um you know, uh cuz Joe Biden talked to him on Saturday and um nothing is like happening. <laughs> They're not coming to no conclusions, but uh, anyway, I wanted to touch base with y'all, let you know that I'm doing okay, hope y'all are, and just keep praying, y'all, that this war does not happen, because it could be definitely revelation times if it does. I mean, it's definitely biblical. All right, y'all take care. Hey, everyone. I wanted to show you this guy over here. <sighs> the sun's going down. It is gorgeous. It was even a brighter fuchsia color just not that long ago, but by the time I got out here, huh, I was cleaning my truck, so I really wasn't paying a lot of attention to the sky. So I looked up and went to go in the house. <laughs> but you can see the sun back there setting. And yeah, it's gorgeous. Wow. Um let's see. Huh. So, I don't know, that is in the north. I'm not so sure the sun should be setting in the north. And I'm pretty sure I'm right, that's the direction that it is. Huh. All right.